Hi, this is Lucia with The Art of Love. I'm a dating and relationship expert specializing in helping you get your ex back or to get over your ex. Today, I want to talk about six insanely effective ways to reattract your ex. The main reason that anyone ever breaks up with anyone is because of their interest level, first and foremost. If their interest level goes below 50%, they're out of there. And it's not because of your situation or something that you did or you didn't do. It's always because of the interest level. Because if they had a higher interest level, if it was in the 90s, it wouldn't matter what you did. It wouldn't matter what you said. It wouldn't matter what the situation was. They would not have broken up with you. So in order to reattract them, you need to make their interest level go back up above 50%. And we are going to talk about that today. But before I start, I want to welcome back the No Contact Army. Have you been keeping our slogan in mind? We don't react, we do no contact. And to help us do that, we have the Silencio app. And the link for that is below every single video if you have an iPhone. And if you too would like to join our No Contact Army, all you have to do is hit the subscribe button and the bell notification and you're in. And to read our manual, go to NoContactSecrets.com where you can read two free chapters before purchasing the book. So in preparing for this video, I actually did something I don't normally do, and that is I watched other videos on how to reattract an ex. Yes. <laughs> and I also read some articles. Whew. Boy, oh boy. Um, yeah, lots of bad advice out there, unfortunately. Things like well, remain friends with your ex or shave your legs. Oh yeah, that'll do it. And I realized the most important thing to keep in mind when you're trying to reattract an ex was something that nobody mentioned in their videos. I found one article that mentioned it. What is it you may ask? Well, stay tuned and you will find out. So in looking at the word reattract, there's obviously the word attract. And attraction is generally viewed as something physical. We think of physical attraction. It's not viewed as something you need to talk someone into. I know in the beginning, obviously people think, okay, I need to use a line to get this person's attention. But in the beginning, also, you didn't have to talk them into being attracted to you in the first place, right? You can't talk someone into being attracted and therefore you can't talk them into being reattracted because if it was just a matter of talking them into it then that would be actually a lot easier because all you'd have to do is put together a logical argument sway them with your argument kind of like the closing arguments in a car case and then they'd say you know what that makes a lot of sense yes that's very logical that's that's right okay I will get back with you that's not how it happens people decide to get back with you based on a feeling, not because you were able to talk them into it. So the first thing to keep in mind to remember is do not try to talk them into it. And I know guys have a tendency to do this more than girls because they're coming from their logical side. They're like, well, I'm going to give her all my logical arguments as to why she should come back. And she may listen to them and still go, uh, yeah, those all sound good, but yeah, I'm still not interested. So do not try to talk them into it. You're going to look foolish and you're going to feel foolish after that you're rejected again. Number two, so again, we look at the word attract, attraction, and what comes to mind? Well, law of attraction. <laughs> Why not use law of attraction to get them back? So which technique, you may ask? Well, there's visualization, there's scripting, there's affirmations, law of assumption. Which one is going to work? Well, frankly, all of them and none of them. It really depends on you. It depends on your belief. Which one do you believe in the most? Because some people might try one and it works for them, but it may not work for someone else and et cetera, et cetera. It's like saying, okay, well, there's all these hammers here. Which one is the one that's going to work for me? Whichever one works best for you. They're all going to get the job done, but which one feels the best in your hand? Which one will you be able to work with consistently? And if you want to use the law of assumption, then you can download, as I mentioned, my app, Silencio. We have a section there where you can record your affirmations and that will help you get your ex back. I have a lot of my clients 
doing that. And if you need help with that, then I'm always available for coaching and the link is below every single video. Next, we move on to Fab. Who's Fab? No, Fab is not a gay hairdresser. Ha ha. <laughs> As I mentioned in my video, seven reasons why the no contact rule works on everyone. Fab stands for fading effect bias. And the definition on sciencedirect.com is across time, the negative effect associated with negative personal event memories tends to fade more than the positive effect associated with positive personal effect memories. So in other words, why do people always have to make everything so complicated? They have to try to sound, sound intelligent. It's like, just tell us what it is. Basically, it means that as time goes by, they forget the negative things associated with you and your relationship, and they only remember the good things. So aren't we lucky? Because right now they are associating bad feelings with you, and they're only think thinking of the negative things that happened when they were with you, not the positive things. So we got to let fab do its thing, and that takes time. So don't expect to get your ex back right away to be able to reattract them right away. We have to get them over from the negative side, from the dark side to neutral and then over to the more positive side. And while I was preparing this, I realized way back in the day, there was actually a detergent called Fab and its slogan was, Oh Fab, we're glad there's lemon fresh and borax in you. <laughs> How many of you remember that? Let me know below. Um, so I've come up with a new slogan. It doesn't quite fit, but hey, I didn't have time to sit here and make it fit exactly. Ain't nobody got time for that. And my new slogan is, oh fab, we're glad we'll get them back all thanks to you. Close enough, right? <laughs> so fab is our friend. Number four, disappear as if you were in the witness protection program. Yes, I'm talking about no contact. Um, most of my videos are about no contact, so I really don't need to go into it. If this is the first time hearing about that, then you can listen to my no contact playlist and no contact success stories. Um, I'm just going to add one thing, and that is that, you know, when you disappear, it's a shock to their system because they didn't expect that. And people make decisions based on their feelings, and then they justify it with logic. So you need to get them feeling something in order for them to start thinking about wanting you back. And that's one of the many reasons why no contact is so important. Number five, use jealousy. Now you have to be careful with this one. You have to know when to use it and how to use it. I've talked about my two drink trick where you post a picture or a video of two drinks and then you tag the location. Make sure one of the drinks is, if you're in a male, female relationship is a kind of a girly drink if you're a guy so it doesn't look like you're out with another guy it's probably a girl you know has an umbrella or something and so you post this and you tag your location so it looks like you're out with someone and you know if you are going to post a picture with a member of the opposite sex or the same sex depending on the relationship you have to make sure that it's ambiguous in the sense that they can't tell if it's a friend or someone that you're seeing romantically so don't post a photo where you're kissing someone or you're sitting on someone's lap or they're sitting on your lap, that's too much. You may push them away. Um, you know, you know your ex better than anyone else because jealousy often works, but it also depends on the person. Sometimes it may not. It may just push them further away. And the effectiveness of jealousy is that people want what they can't have. And now that they see you with someone else, they know they probably cannot just get you back just like that. All of a sudden, your perceived value has gone up because if someone else wants you, then maybe you're not so bad. And one of my clients actually recent her, recently heard from their ex after a long period of no contact. And it was a direct result of him using the jealousy card. And now they are well on their way to getting back together. So if you're not sure whether you, sh you should use this tactic or not, I would suggest you do some coaching with me. I will put up the link in the right hand corner of the video. And of course, it's also underneath every single video. And now finally, reason number six, the one that everyone missed is 
What is the reason for the breakup? This is actually the most important factor in reattracting your ex because, you know, if you do what other people tell you to do, it's like, oh, level up your looks, glow up, look good. Sure, that's fine, that's great. But if your looks were not the issue, if that's not the reason they broke up with you, then what's that gonna do? <laughs> you know, or it's like, yeah, make more money, become more successful. Okay, great, but if that's not the reason they broke up with you, then again, you have to address the issue. If it was anger, then what's making more money and looking better gonna do to reattract them? If you're still that angry guy or girl, then even if you get back together, you start showing anger, inappropriate anger, and they'll be like, okay, I'm out of here again, and I'm not coming back this time. Um, you know, there's a girl that I follow on social media, and she's beautiful, she's inarguably a 10. And, um, you know, also she has money, not that guys usually care about money. And <laughs> she keeps getting broken up with. I mean, she had one boyfriend that she said that he never took her anywhere, never bought her presents. I was like, what? And then she started seeing a new guy. And one week someone asked her if she was seeing anyone. She said, yeah, I am. I love him. Two weeks later, he broke up with me. <laughs> and so she's already leveled up in her look. She's already making money. Obviously the problem from what I can see from the outside is that she doesn't have game. She doesn't know what she's doing. You know, if she was being broken up with constantly and there's no apparent reason and she doesn't seem to be annoying, her personality seems to be really cool, then it's she doesn't know what she's doing. I think she's probably too needy, but obviously I would need to speak with her. So you need to work on the reason that the breakup even occurred in the first place, if you even know it. And sometimes they don't tell you or they give you a bunch of excuses, meaning that um, it, the excuses they gave you, it's probably none of those excuses. I mean, they may all be true, to, you know, to an extent, but they didn't really tell you the truth. If you listen to my video about how to get your ex back, step-by-step -step instructions, and we talk about that girl in Poland who broke up with that guy, Chris, and she gave him like a bunch of reasons why she broke up with him and actually it was because he was a beta she never told them that but also she probably didn't even know sometimes they don't even know the reason they're breaking up with you they just know that they're no longer attracted to you and they're just going to want to get away from you so um, again if you contact me for coaching i can help you to figure out why they broke up with you okay so just to go over everything number one do not try to talk them into it it's not going to work number two use the law of attraction Number three, our friend Fab, the gay hairdresser. <laughs> number four, disappear like you're in witness protection. Number five, use jealousy. And number six, address the reason for the breakup. So that if you do get back together, you won't be broken up with again. So which one of those are you going to use besides maybe all of them? I don't know. I'd like to hear from you. And in the meantime, if you would like my help to get your ex back, you can contact me at theartoflove.net and we'll send you the rates. The direct link is below. If you found this video helpful, please like, subscribe, and share. If you're listening to this as a podcast, please rate and review. And finally, remember that love inspires, empowers, uplifts, and enlightens. <laughs>